welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. And I'm going to be doing something a little different from my regular sort of Godzilla stuff or dinosaur stuff or model building, whatever stuff I do on this channel. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Detective Pikachu. Um, I figured, you know, why not? It's kind of, sim you know, it's got s enough similarities, enough tie-ins to the Godzilla uh, and sort of monster universe typical stuff that I do that I think it'll be appropriate for this channel. Um, and yeah, I did actually, the reason I'm making this is I actually noticed some similarities to the recent Godzilla stuff that's going on that I think would be a little interesting to uh, let you guys know. And I just wanted to talk about the film for a bit. Uh, so before I get into my sort of review on it, uh, the first thing that's uh, similar, uh, makes this sort of appropriate, I'd say, is... Uh, it's got, um, it's made by Legendary Pictures, and actually in the beginning of the film it's also tied into Toho Pictures. It actually says Toho Pictures in, uh, you know, in the opening credits. So, two of the same companies that made, they're making the recent, um, Legendary Pictures run of Godzilla films. So yeah, there, there's, that's enough in my books, but it's also got Ken Watanabe in it, who's uh, Dr. Serizawa in the Legendary Pictures universe. Um, and it's also based on a, an original Japanese IP, uh, that being the Pokemon universe, which is also related to Japanese monsters, some of which do look very kaiju-esque, and it actually happens to have some giant monsters in the film. Coincidence? Or is this some sort of conspiracy? Illuminati confirmed? Who the fuck knows? Anyway, um, let's get into the film. So, uh, Detective Pikachu is, of course, a Pokemon, uh, the first ever live action Pokemon film. Um, it's uh, directed by somebody, and it's um, a pretty good film, actually. Um, let me get sort of into my uh, background of Pokemon. I didn't really grow, grow up with Pokemon at all. I might have seen an episode of the anime when I was five on television and forgot mostly about it. Uh, I know what Team Rocket is, the people with weird hair and do weird over-the-top acting. And then there's a talking cat called Meowth and there's a Pikachu which is cute and adorable and there's Pika. And uh, that, that was about all I knew about Pokemon. Um, till like about a, about a year ago or less uh, when I'm you know um, here in Australia we got this sort of uh, welfare system that uh, basically when when you don't have job you're sent to a thing called work for the doll and there you have to do slave labor uh, and I met some people there who were big Pokemon fans and we kind of uh, they ended up getting me to play Pokemon Go and so that's where I kind of learned about Pokemon. So it's been a really recent thing for me. I've been definitely enjoying that game. I've decided to start playing it, not not just because of peer pressure, but I wanted to do some more walking, because um, I need to do more exercise or I will die. Um, so that that's <laughs> where my sort of interest with it ha um, happened. So I've been playing Pokemon Go uh, quite a lot uh, since then. And uh, so I have a very loose and background knowledge of it. But going into this film, I found it pretty entertaining. Again, um, or not again. Uh, so we've got, uh, the, the, basically the major appeal of this film is it's, you know, Pikachu. Pikachu is adorable and cute. And even though it's like a very noob thing to be like, oh, Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. I, I do kind of love Pikachu because Pikachu is fucking adorable. Um, and they got Ryan Reynolds, aka Deadpool, to voice Pikachu, which is like the strangest idea, but it works. It totally, um, he is the best thing about this film. Um, uh, the most funniest film, the, the thing about this thing is, yeah, pretty much everything he does uh, and says. Uh, so definitely pulled that off. If you're a Deadpool fan, I highly recommend going to this thing. Again, it's it's very much uh, his sort of typical, stereotypical sort of style of character is being a little typecast, but definitely entertaining, and I'd say worth the price of admission. Uh, what I love about this film is they build this sort of Pokemon world. It's sort of like this Pokemon city. The the background that's set in is really interesting. Uh, it's like 
it's set in this world where Pokemon and humans are kind of in uh, living in in harmony in this sort of world, uh, the city, and it, it's a very Zootopia esque. If you guys have seen that film, so uh, the style of the city was really cool. It was this kind of sort of modern, very. Uh, it's kind of like a mix between like a, a Western and a Japanese kind of city. I think it's literally London. I see some like there's that weird egg shaped glass building that I, sw I swear I've seen in pictures of, of films that set in London, and I swear that's just there. So I think the film was probably, might have been filmed in, in London. So they do have quite a bit of British actors um, in this film. Uh, and it, it does have that sort of feel, but it's also like is London mixed with Tokyo, mixed with like a weird uh, futuristic Pokemon world. Uh, and that was really cool to see. All the Pokemon were, full of, I really enjoyed their designs and the way they're integrated and their powers is really cool. Uh, the film was funny for the most part, entertaining. Uh, the plot and the mystery in it was a bit simple, I think. It's um, not the, the the most interesting, like, you can predict a lot of what's going to happen, and some of the ways, like, uh, that they reveal stuff is um, a little bit of a Deo Ex Machina, whatever that's called, where it just kind of like, okay, this happens, there's like a... Okay, spoiler alert. This is this review is going to be a non uh, a spoiler filled one. Why why the hell not? Um, uh, there's just a weird like random hologram that comes that they just say okay we have this that just kind of shows what happens here because technology, and it basically is just like an arbitrary like thing that's like okay the the detectiving wasn't as well done as it could have been. That the, the mystery of it, it w wasn't what made this film interesting enough, I'd say. So the detective and the mystery uh, part of it is a bit predictable and could have been done better. As well as, um, so in, uh, going into the negatives now, the main character, uh, he wasn't seem... He, he was possible, he was um, uh, better than some main characters. Soldier Dude from Godzilla 2014. <laughs> um, but he... But he, you know, it was fairly a blank sort of character that you can kind of put yourself in. There was some sort of like daddy issues themes that I feel were uh, kind of overused in a lot of films. Um, and some of it, like I said, predictable. But that's not where the interesting part of it is. The the part where this film really shines are the sort of the Pokemon action. The Pokemons really are the stars of this film, especially Pikachu. Um, I've already said Ryan Reynolds does great, but he really does. Um, the, the comedy with the Pokemon and the interactions, like for example, there's the Psyduck character and his interactions with Pikachu is funny. The, a lot of the background ones, uh, Ken Watanabe, for the little scenes that he's in, is awesome. Uh, and his like interactions with his um, weird pink bulldog Pokemon, I forgot what the name of that one is. Um, uh, he's underused in this film, is another thing. I wish they did more with him again. He generally tends to be a little sideline sidelined in a lot of films that he's in, but yeah, just great to see him in there. Um, uh, and uh, they had uh, the guy who played the taxi driver uh, from the Deadpool series, Dopinder or whatever his name is, the Indian guy. He was in this film at the beginning as well, which is really funny since Ryan Reynolds is also in here. Uh, so there are just a couple of little Easter eggs like this. Uh, we get um, Mewtwo is a big part of this film. Mewtwo is really creepy looking as far as Pokemon designs go. I know I don't know if I like Mewtwo, but um, pretty cool I guess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for the most part, I think they did a really good uh, work integrating sort of the Pokemon designs and stuff like this. But uh, uh, for the sort of uh, Pokemon battles that we get, I think are a really strong part of this film. For example, there's a we get the Charmander battle, and that was bloody awesome because. Uh, uh, Charmander, not Charmander, the grown, the evolved version, Charizard. Yeah, we get that battle um, that happens uh, somewhere mi midway, and that's probably my favorite part of the movie when Pikachu is trying to fight him in that whole action sequence and and that crazy stuff going on with that. And then um, actually, probably my favorite moment in the whole film is where the Magikarp uh, thing that happens at the end of that. I'm not gonna. I mean, I've already spoiled it, but for anyone who doesn't care about spoilers, but still hasn't watched the film and is watching this, yeah, that, that bit's hilarious. Um, just go watch it. Um, 
because uh, I call Magikarp dead fish uh, when it's like well, probably my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> And, and whenever I love finding them in Pokemon Go and stuff like that. Uh, and also the Ditto thing, which is a part, uh, kind of part of the um, whole mystery. And kind of like a big part of the ending battle is pretty cool and like those creepy eyes. Uh, so I love that. So uh, yeah, that stuff's all pretty good. Uh, the music in the film, it's kind of a mixed bag. Um, most of the music is not that great. I like some of the kind of weirder sort of 80s sci-fi feeling music that happens sometimes. A lot of it's pretty generic and they could have done some more interesting stuff like in the trailer they had some pretty good music uh, like what's that song uh, me and you uh, I do I think about it all the time it's only right oh, happy together by is it the turtles or something yeah but that song's great I wish they had that more of that sort of style stuff or more that weird sort of 80s kind of stuff like if they did something similar musically to like what they did before Ragnarok or something like that I would have liked that a little bit more, but yeah, just kind of, yeah. Overall, um, the film, like, isn't, it's not extraordinary, like I said, the plot and the characters, it's just possible, Ryan Reynolds is really funny, it's just a really good, sort of fun summer blockbuster, and if you're a Pokemon fan, uh, for like I said, I'm not, uh, I'm really, I'm just sort of a, a guest, or a, a passerby in this sort of Pokemon fandom. I'm not like any, I'm not hardcore or even have like a big nostalgia towards or anything like that, but I, I'm sort of just starting to get into it, and I think this is a really awesome film, uh, really fun sort of uh, movie to just go into, and a, a good first sort of um, uh, live action uh, film for the Pokemon franchise. I'm surprised it took them this long considering uh, the trend that movies have been doing since like the 90s of sort of live actioning stuff but yeah whatever uh, so yeah I'd recommend seeing this film and um, giving it a solid recommend so yeah uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment and all that jazz it's always interesting to hear what you guys think about this stuff in the comments below it's kind of like the best way that youtubers get to interact with their uh, viewers and stuff like that and um, yeah, uh, um, may all your vinyl be irradiated vinyl, and uh, keep watching good movies. Peace out. Bye.